Hey, Steve, uh, it's hard to believe that it's been over a dozen years uh, since I started as an extern at Mount Washington uh, back in the fall of 2009. Uh, but I just want to take a moment to express a really sincere thanks for all that you've done to support my training and clinical development over the years. Uh, I really value getting to work alongside you in Friday morning feeding clinics uh, and I'm incredibly appreciative for all of the professional uh, as well as especially personal support that you've offered to me uh, over the course of my career. Uh, please accept my best wishes for all that lies ahead. Uh, hope everything goes wonderfully. Hi, Dr. Band. I wanted to send this message to wish you a huge congratulations on your retirement. It is well deserved. Um, and also just thank you so much for your mentorship, friendship, and guidance over the many years that I've been working at Mount Washington. It's um, only been a pleasure working with you. All the best. Hi, Steve. I've only worked with you for a relatively brief amount of time now, but I personally wanted to thank you for developing and providing such a strong and vital department for myself and the rest of our team to get to work in. We'll all miss your leadership and advocacy, and I'll personally miss all of your help with submitting hygiene data. Congratulations, thank you, and happy time. Hi, Steve. Firstly, I just want to wish you a huge congratulations. It sounds as though you have some incredible plans for your next stage, and I really wish you all the best. I'm a little sad that you're transitioning so soon into my joining Mount Washington. Despite our limited time getting to know each other, and even more limited in person because of this whole COVID thing, I have really enjoyed our discussion about a, a wide variety of topics from leadership to mindfulness to Chick-fil-A. And I really just wanna thank you for all of your work building this incredible department. You have really helped build one of the most positive and supportive environments that I've ever had to the opportunity to work within. And I'm super excited to be um, a part of, of what you really helped build. So thank you and I really do wish you all the best. Bye. Congratulations on your retirement, Steve. I'm going to miss you so much once you go, and I know you're going to have a great time at the Delaware beaches enjoying bird watching and the beautiful scenery. We're going to miss you so much here, and uh, I'm so grateful for all that you've done for the department over the 30 years you've been at Mount Washington. It sounds like you were such an impact in having the department have such a strong presence, and I'm really grateful for that. I really appreciate meeting you and, and working with you. Um, I know even from my interview, I remember just thinking that you were such a nice, calming presence in the department, and I really appreciate that. So we're all going to miss you, and I wish you the best, and I hope that we see you again soon. All right, one thing that I appreciate about you, Steve, is how welcome and included uh, you made me feel when I joined the staff at Mount Washington in 2017. Uh, at that particular moment in time, there were not a lot of outside hires, and so as a result, there would often be moments at faculty meetings where I would have no idea what people were talking about because I didn't have some of the same shared history that everyone else did at the table. And you would often notice this, and you would generously give me about 30 seconds of context to just catch me up. And uh, I really appreciate that. They were, they were small moments, but it made a difference to me. And I think that it's a nice reflection of uh, your leadership. So uh, thank you for that. And thank you for the opportunity to learn from you these past few years. I wish you all the best in this next chapter. Hi. So I thought I would use this time to uh, share a memory of Steve that has really stuck with me. Um, so this was shortly after I had started my position here and there happened to be a few colleagues who were transferring to positions outside of Mount Washington and that was right around the holiday party that year. So during the party, Steve ended up giving these farewell speeches and I didn't know him super well at that point, but I just remember being 
really struck by like how personal the speeches were and he was recalling these specific ideas that people had brought to the table and these contributions that they had made to the department and the speeches were not about me but I remember it just making me feel really valued as an employee. It was just clear that there was a culture where um, our voice would be respected and there was space to take risks and make mistakes and um, I just really distinctly remember thinking like, yeah, this is a boss that I want to work for. So I'm really glad that I got that chance and I wish it could last longer. Um, but I think Steve of all people deserves a long, happy retirement. And so that's what I'm going to wish him. Congratulations on your retirement, Steve. I'm so grateful that I got to start this section of my career by working someplace that was under your leadership. I hope that I always have your joy and passion for learning more um, about this field and about this world <laughs> professionally and personally, um, and that I'm able to adopt your advocacy and passion, not only for the people that you're serving, the families that you're serving, but also for the people that you work with. Um, it's been such a great experience getting to work with you, and I hope that your transition into retirement is restful and encouraging, um, and I'm wishing you all the best in this next stage. Steve, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and kicking with you over the past two years. I wanted to thank you for all your mentorship and guidance. I also wanted to congratulate you on your retirement, and I uh, hope everything goes smoothly with your move to Delaware, and hope you enjoy the slower pace of life there. What I appreciate most is all your help when we were starting the feeding program. This was a new skill for us and we were definitely learning how to work together and how to help these kids. We have a lot of funny stories of working with outpatients and inpatients, um, trying to get these kids to eat when they didn't want to. So I appreciate all your dedication and support and the program's grown so much from the early days. So thank you, enjoy your retirement. Hi Steve, I wanna wish you the best in this new chapter in your life. And I wanna thank you for being such a good friend to me and to this department. When I met you, you told me that you were moving away from um, a conductor of an orchestra model and moving more towards a jazz ensemble model, meaning that you were really giving your team freedom to grow and develop the department. And that's been so meaningful to us in the development team in terms of what we can talk about in the community and how we can raise funds and support for all the great work here. So thank you for being that great leader that you are and you will be sorely missed. Take care. I wish you the best. Bye. Hi, Steve. This is Betty, whoops. And I just want to say congratulations on your retirement. Uh, you've been wonderful to work with Steve. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. So I have a little script. So here we go, first page. Uh, best wishes on your retirement. And you know, the best part Steve is not having to race, to be busy all the time, to run around like you're crazy. Now you're going to be able to stop and enjoy things. Um, you can take your time going to the store or whatever. The next thing on my list, now you can stop and read all the books and articles that you've never been able to finish because you've fallen asleep. You're too tired. So Steve, it's been wonderful working with you. Um, I wish you all the success, you and your family, all the success and pleasure in the coming years. It's going to be wonderful. And Steve, now a toast to you. Red wine. And this is for you, Steve. Congratulations. Bye. Hi, Steve. Congratulations on your retirement. I want to congratulate you on your incredible career here and the incredible growth and success of your department. It has meant so much, not only to the patients and families you take care of, but to the hospital as a whole and our entire growth and lots of our programs. So congratulations on that. I also want to take a minute to note that Steve is always sharing the credit whenever he talks to me about any trainee, faculty, staff, he always takes a minute and says, and she's great, or he's great. So he's always, he's always spreading the credit for all of the great work that you all do. So Steve, congratulations, and I hope you have many years of bird watching and kayaking, and I hope to see you at the beach in Lewis next summer and meet for an ice cream at the Dairy Queen. Congratulations.
Hi, Steve. Um, I just want to say it's been an honor, a privilege, and a blessing for me to work under your leadership. Um, I've learned so much from your clinical expertise and consultation that you've afforded me, um, and also just from your leadership presence and practice. Um, you've always been a strong supporter and encouraged me personally. Um, and I just want to thank you for all your support. You're going to be greatly missed. Um, thanks. I want to wish Steve the best with retirement. As a psychologist at my Washington who started off um, doing my internship there, I've known him for about seven and a half years. And I've really enjoyed working with him. I vividly remember my first time meeting him during my interview about like eight months before I started internship. And he was so genuinely interested in learning about my dissertation, um, which at that point I was like, completely over my dissertation, but it was so nice to talk about it with somebody who um, seemed just like very genuinely engaged and wanting to learn about it. And that's essentially how Steve is. He's such a great listener, always wanting to um, know about what's going on with like our professional and career lives as well as our personal lives and has always been such a great support. Um, I've really appreciated how much he has helped to shape my role as a psychologist, especially as I transition from like trainee to psychologist and, and as well as like on the units. Um, and I found his guidance and support to be very valuable. Um, and I, he's definitely gonna be missed and I wish him the best of luck and with everything with retirement and hope he enjoys Delaware. Um, okay, congratulations. Steve is such a very, very special psychologist and a very special person that I've had the honor to work with. Um, I think of Steve and I just think that um, he has been the ultimate work dad for me. So <laughs> um, when I kind of think about Steve, um, of course, you know, when I was a trainee and younger, he was super encouraging and supportive. Um, and then in kind of my professional adolescence, Steve would um, be the person who was not afraid to um, set me straight when I was wrong or kind of settle little squabbles between my work siblings and myself. Um, he really is an excellent mentor and really a role model for me um, in so many ways. So. Um, Steve really um, walks the walk of showing how much professional relationships matter. Um, Steve always talks to people from every department in the hospital. He takes time to stop and say hi when he sees everybody. He stops by somebody's office to just see how they're doing. Um, and watching him, um, I have learned a lot about that and the importance there. Um, Steve is a model on just quality of work. He really cares about the work that we do. He really believes in it. Um, and I think his love for this hospital, this whole organization is just completely contagious and um, has made me passionate about working at Mount Washington as well. Um, and then Steve right now even is kind of showing us that a work-life balance is really, really important. And um, sometimes, um, yeah, just uh, uh, I guess making sure to um, do what's best for you, um, for your family and yourself, in addition to, you know, this work that we love. And um, I just wanted to say that, Steve, I wish you the very best in your retirement. I hope it's lots of fun and very relaxing and fulfilling. And I know it will be. And um, I will miss you a lot but I'm really glad that I got to inherit your office. <laughs> um, thank you so much for everything. Sincerely, thanks. Steve Band is the only person I know whose ears are somehow directly connected to his heart. No one in the world can listen as well as Steve. It is his superpower. 
I remember every single time that I had a very complex, challenging case, Steve was always there to listen patiently and somehow make it seem simple and solvable again. I really enjoyed Steve's mindfulness workshop and our conversations about Buddhism and Tonglen. But my favorite moment was when Steve and Eve Band volunteered at the 2019 Holiday Toy Shop Carnival. And I got to see them playing with chains and action figures, and they were playing with all of my favorite patients. And in that moment, Steve looked five years old. And I realized that he was born to be a child psychologist. When Steve started 30 years ago, not only were children with disabilities segregated into group homes, um, but parents were still handing out cards when their children had meltdowns in public saying, um, you've just come into contact with a child with autism. For more information, dial 1-800. You get the idea. We've come a long way. But Steve's work at Mount Washington has had historical importance in the disability rights movement. He created programs that offer compassion and accessibility for children who were ignored and underestimated everywhere else. And even though our department will have a Steve-shaped hole in its heart, Steve has inspired us as a psychology department to keep building the community of support that he pioneered. Thank you, Steve. Enjoy your retirement. You earned it. Dr. Steve Van, Director of Psychology and Neuropsychology Extraordinaire, aka Original Feeding Psychologist at Mount Washington. <laughs> it's Friday and still have my tie on. We'll see how long that lasts. But um yeah, it's you're retiring. <laughs> so part of me thinks is it's really happening. Is he gonna change his mind and then come back in January and be like, whoa. Surprise guys, I'm still here. <laughs> but I don't imagine that's the case. I think um, it'll be good. It'll be good to be mindfully sitting somewhere, watching your birds in Delaware, um, <laughs> and reflecting on the time you had at Mount Washington, or just thinking about what you're gonna do for the day. Um, but it'll be different. It definitely won't be the same without you around. And I'll miss having that person I could turn to down the hallway um, about whatever new administrative or <laughs> whatever issue came up. Um, I do appreciate all of the advice you've given me since since I've known you and don't think that, that you're gonna get out of getting some more requests for that in the future. But anyway, happy retirement and um, I wish you the best and you know, gotta stay in touch. most about Steve Band, who I still want to call Dr. Band after 10 years, but he has insisted it's Steve. So the thing I appreciate most about you, Steve, is how you were our biggest supporters here. Um, you were our biggest cheerleader, our biggest advocate. You always fought for what you felt we deserved and um, always let us know how good of a job you thought we were doing. So you were just such a huge support to all of us. You'll certainly be missed, but I hope you thoroughly enjoy the next chapter and everything that's to come. Steve, what can I say about our relationship and what you've meant to me both professionally and personally? I feel like throughout the years, I've come to you for advice and mentorship and you've always been happy and eager to help. You've really helped me shift myself to become the person I am in the clinical work I do and the leadership work I do and also as a man in general. I of course am sad to see you go but very excited that you get to start this next chapter of your life and I know that this isn't a goodbye and I know that this is really a I'll talk to you soon 
because I anticipate that I'll have plenty of questions still for you to answer. This time I won't be in your office. I guess I'll just have to call you. Hi, Steve. I can't believe the time has come for you to leave us and retire. You've been such a wonderful leader and mentor to all of us over the years. I can't thank you enough personally for your support and mentorship that you've provided to me over the years as well. Uh, the department just won't be the same without you here, uh, but we will persevere by following the examples you have set for us over our time here. I am gonna have to find someone else to talk to about the Phillies though. I'll keep you posted. Best of luck and best wishes. Okay, so this has literally been the fifth time I've had to re-record this. I'm not sure where to look, so just bear with me. Um, this is where it's the voicemail message because I'm having a really hard time of kind of summarizing everything that I want to say to you, Steve. Um, you have been such an impact to my, you know, life professionally as well as personally. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing you since I started working at Mount Washington in 2013. And um, I can honestly say that you have been such a backbone and um, such an impact to me professionally as well as personally. I really don't know what kind of person I would be without of having you been involved in my life. Um, I could probably, I can honestly say that uh, what you've done for me, I'm sure you've done for lots of other people in the department and will say very similar things about you. Um, but you've always been there, whether it was for a professional or like a patient crisis or a personal crisis, um, or even just like a friendly hello or chit chat. Like those are the things I'm going to miss the most. Um, I'm so excited and um, for you, for you to go on this next adventure of your life. And I, I can't wait and I to hear all about it. And I hope you still drop by and say hello or send an email or a text just um, telling me about all the fun things that you're doing and learning about and on this next adventure. And, um, you know, you really have meant a lot to everybody and obviously myself. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, who's going to remind us to, you know, hand sanitize and wash our hands and who is going to be there when we need some type of sage advice, you know, um, you know, you offer a perspective that's been very helpful. And uh, I know all jokes aside, um, you know, some of my favorite memories would just be working down the hall from you. And I would hear like a very cheerful hum in the background while you would be working or typing on an email. And so I'm going to, I'm going to miss all those little things as well as the big things. And um, again, I really hope, like I said, you still uh, keep in touch. Um, and I hope I, if I ever need advice in the future, you could still <laughs> answer an email or a phone call um, because you know so much and you've done so much for us that um, it's going to be a while for us to get adjusted to. But I know we will. We're resilient people and um, I'm really excited for you and I'm happy for you. And I hope uh, you're proud of everything you accomplished because you should be because you've done a lot for us. So. Uh, this is just congratulations and good luck and see you soon. Hi, Steve. Kimberly here from way down below at Capital Region Medical Center. So for your retirement, I collected a few things that I think you will need that are essential to your retirement and that will help you um, survive and move um, smoothly into this next transition. First, I have a battery. You will need battery for long life and for energy now that you don't have all of us as staff and for patients um, to ask you questions and to help us 
iron out various issues and problems, which sometimes does help to keep people young. I also have ibuprofen that you can use for um, possible aches and pains that sometimes do come once you're not working as much. I also have a rubber band because you will need this um, for strengthening. Um, sometimes, again, as you move forward with retirement, you might lose a little bit of um, elasticity, you know, sometimes in your joints as well as um, in your brain. I also have crayons that you can use to um, make your days bright and colorful. And I have a penny, penny for your thoughts, although your thoughts are much more, um, they're actually priceless. They've um, been a big help to me over the years and helped me to survive um, in the midst of all the different challenges that do come in this world of pediatric um, psychology. I also have, oh, my things are falling. Um, I have a string for you to remind you to make sure you tie up all loose ends before you do move forward um, from this wonderful phase of life. Um, I have these. This is a picture of false teeth. Sometimes that happens. Not everybody um, will need this particular um, object, but sometimes you, you know, just something for you to consider. And I also have this ring. Um, this part here are the diamonds, again, just to highlight that um, you are one of a kind and priceless. The circle also represents um, the sign of completion that you have now completed this phase of your life and you're moving on to another aspect of your journey. And then I have a puzzle piece. Um, again, this is just to symbolize that now that you won't be here, um, this is the missing piece that will be um, reflective of you not being with us. And I have a heart, and that is just to um, help you to remember that you are loved, you are appreciated and valued. And then I have this um, stuffed animal. The stuffed animal has flowers, and um, that is to encourage you to take some time to smell the, the flowers, the roses, along the way and also this is a teddy bear but just pretend it's a sheep and that is just to say in closing that we will miss you and that's supposed to be you know um for the sheep so again thanks for everything um i'm happy as well as sad as you're moving forward happy that you have reached this pinnacle um in your professional career i think it's a wonderful place to be and um sad to see you go because you have really been um, a big supporter for myself um, professionally and personally, which has helped me to um, continue my commitment and my development as a pediatric um, psychologist and just as a professional in general. So I wish you well. Um, enjoy all of your time. Um, do great things for yourself and your family. Um, think of all the wonderful things that you've always wanted to do and couldn't do or didn't have the time to do. And I hope you spend that time now to treat yourself and be well i'm sure we'll see you around um if not maybe i'll bump into you at a you know some of those wonderful conventions along the way um, best wishes and um you know don't forget to stop by and say hi sometimes hugs how has steve impacted my life he has been my longest running boss over 17 years, He's been my only boss. He's had a significant role in formulating my professional life. Go on and on, saying what probably everybody's saying, how awesome you've been and how much people have learned from you. I kind of feel like I need to put an Eli twist on it just so you don't forget too much about me. So while we lose our full-time faithful leader, the birds are gaining a full-time faithful stalker. In retirement, I imagine you won't be able to start near as many sentences with, God damn it, or hopefully end as many with, Eli, get in here. Hmm. I've missed that over pandemic. I know I will miss you saying intranet and anytime I see it or say it or 
read it for the rest of my life. I will hear your voice in draw nets. <laughs> I'll miss how you close your door, check this locked a couple times before you actually leave. This place won't be the same. And in case you're wondering, that's a compliment. Can I have your vintage toy house? It's super cool in 70s. I didn't break it, I promise. Shit. Sorry. Sorry. Can't retire from being great. I hope you have fun. And we'll miss you. Bye. Making a video for you has been such a challenge. Trying to put into words my thoughts about our almost 20 years together here at Mount Washington has not been easy, has been emotional, and has caused me to think about a lot of things. So here, this is about my 15th video. So let me just describe the process here. Each time I've made a video, I put it together, I've kind of critiqued it, and then I've shown it to Jenny, my wife, and to Rachel, my daughter. And each time they've kind of told me, yeah, your video kind of sucks. And I said, what do you mean? And I said, it's just not capturing what you wanted to say. And I said, is there something you think I should be doing? And they said to me, no, I don't know. I mean, you normally you would turn to Steve Band in a time like this for advice, but probably not appropriate in this situation. And I said to them, right, this is why I always go to Steve Band, because you guys give me this feedback that makes me feel bad about myself, and Steve would always make me feel better. But I said, okay, that's fine. I, I hear you, and each time I went back and worked on a new video. So here I am on try number 15, and truthfully, um, I'm not going to show them this one because I'm kind of burned out on making videos. So Steve, without further ado, here is my tribute to you through the poetry of 1980s television theme songs. Number one, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Steve, this is a story all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down. So why don't we take a minute and just kick right back. I want to tell you the story of how you became the director of a hospital called Mount Washington, which is close to Bel Air, Maryland. In suburban Philadelphia, you were born and raised. In Jewish summer camp is where you spent most of your days. You were chilling out, relaxing, and acting all cool. You were watching birds outside of your shul when a couple of guys from Mount Washington asked you to move to their neighborhood. You talk to your wife and said, let's not be scared. Let's go move to Mount Washington and take on the challenge. It's only 45 minutes south of Bel Air, Maryland. So that's number one. Probably so far you're thinking Rachel and Jenny were right, but that's okay. We're gonna keep pressing through. Number two, family ties. Steve, it feels like we've been together for a million years. I thought we'd be together for a million more. Steve, it's like I started breathing on my first day at Mount Washington. I can't remember anything I've ever learned before. Steve, what will I do, baby, without us? What will I do, baby, without us? Because there was never any nothing. We couldn't work each other through. Steve, what will I do, baby, without us? Shalalala. Number three, the Golden Girls. Steve, thank you for being a friend. We've traveled down that road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Steve, if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Dear Steve, Thank you for always being there for me over these past 20 years. Thank you from starting when I was an extern here at Mount Washington and you being on my dissertation committee to all the guidance and all the support you have given me through all the years. I just cannot find the right words to say other than theme song words. 
to tell you how I feel. So, Steve, I will leave it at this. Steve, I love you for everything you've done for me. Thank you so much. I will miss you so much, but at the same time, I am so happy for you that you are finally able to move on to this next stage of life for yourself.